Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. On this video, I will share you the questions about compass work that is commonly asked during the master and chief mate evaluation. And the question frequently asked by the evaluator, it will be around the variation and deviation and of course the methodologies for checking compass error. Okay, let's go to the sample of the question. Where you get the compass deviation from and where you get the variation from? Well, we get the deviation from the compass deviation card and then the variation we get from the chart on the compass rows. Okay, uh, what are the methods to calculate compass uh, error? Okay, uh, we can use uh, transit bearing with two objects to find the compass error. Compass error also can uh, be obtained by using transit bearing using a uh, leading light. When we're transiting through channel, we can uh, get the compass error by astronomical calculation uh, or sun bearing, and also we can get the compass error uh, by the com compare ship heading with the birth direction on the chart. Well, uh, what is transit bearing with two objects? We can get the compass error with uh, transit bearing with two objects by observing the actual compass bearing of two fixed structure in the range, example uh, offshore platforms, and take the true compass bearing of same structure on the chart. And then the difference is the compass error. Remember the compass base, error base, and the compass least, error is. Obtain the compass error by compare ship heading with bird direction on chart. When vessel long set at bird, we can compare the true direction of the bird on the chart with the compass heading, and the difference is the compass error. Remember the rule compass base, error west, and compass least, error is. Transiting bearing using a leading light. Uh, by following two leading light on the channel, we can compare uh, our compass heading with the true bearing of those leading light mark on the chart. And the difference is the compass error. Remember the rule, compass best, error west. Compass least, error is. And then for astronomical calculation, the fastest way to get the compass error is by the amplitude of the sun. How to do it? Uh, take compass bearing of sun when sunset or sunrise. And then go to the almanac with date and time, get the declination, and calculate use formula. Sine amplitude is sine declination divided by cos latitude. Simply calculate the amplitude angle and compare it with the observed compass bearing and we get the compass error. Okay, next sample question. You are given by the following information. Vessel position, the latitude 28 degrees 00, 00 minute north, then longitude 040 degrees 00, 00 minute east, and the sun declination is at 21 north. Question. What is the true bearing of the sun at sunset and sunrise? Well, remember, the sine amplitude is equal to sine declination divided by cosine latitude. So the declination is 21 and the uh, latitude is uh, 28. So uh, sine 21 divided by cosine 28, uh, we get zero decimal 40587 and then the amplitude is equal to inverse sine of 0 decimal 40587 and then we get the amplitude is 23 decimal 9 degree well um, the amplitude when sunrise then is 23 decimal 
nine north. Its label is due to sunrise, and the label north is same as the label of declination. Please see on the left bottom table. When the label of azimuth is is north, then the true bearing at sunrise is equal to 090 degrees minus azimuth. 090 degrees minus the azimuth is uh, 23 decimal 9 degrees. So the true bearing when sunrise is 66 decimal 1 degrees. Uh, the amplitude when sunset is a west 23 decimal 9 degrees north. It's labeled west due to sunset and the label north is same as the label of declination. Again, please see on the left bottom table when the label of the azimuth is west north, then the true bearing at sunset is equal to 270 degrees plus azimuth. 270 degrees plus azimuth 23 decimal line. So the true bearing when sunset is 293 decimal 9 degrees. Okay, next sample uh, question. In cloudy day, what is the simple way to get a compass error in oil field? Well, uh, I will look for transit bearing of platform. Compare the visual transit bearing you took. Uh, with the compass, with the true transit bearing on the chart. And the difference is the error. Okay, next sample of question. The variation is three is and the deviation is four decimal five ways. What is the compass error? <clears throat> the compass error is variation plus deviation. The variation is three is and plus by the deviation, which is uh, four decimal five ways, and we get uh, minus one decimal five or one decimal five ways. This is a compass error. Okay, next sample question. The magnetic compass reading is 245 degrees and the fair reason is 2.5 degrees west. The vision is 1.5 degrees west. What is the true course? The first, we do the calculation for a uh, compass error. It is the variation plus deviation. The variation we, uh, we have is 2.5 degrees west and the deviation is 1.5 degrees west. So the error is for west or minus 4. True course is compass course plus compass error. So 245 degrees plus by the compass error it is for west. Uh, west is mean uh, it's negative so uh, 245 minus uh, 4 we get the 241 degree true course. Remember error west and the compass best. Well, uh, next simple question. You are alongside at Tanaji bird number four and you need to calculate the compass error. What you will do? You are both side alongside. Well, I will check on the chart and the Tanaji bird is a 270 degree true heading. And then go to your compass and then read the compass directly and see how much it show. And then compare it with the true heading on the chart, which is a 270 degree. And then the difference between the true heading on the chart and your compass heading is the compass error.